maximizing your potentials. We each possess skills and abilities that nobody else possesses quite like we do. We are each gifted with unique strengths and talents, whether this is a talent for display on the world stage, or on a small stage as someone who makes a difference to just a few other people. So how do we make the most of our personal potential? By creating the right mindset. Here are the key features of the maximizing potential mindset. Self-improvement. There are two poles in the human condition, to stay where we are and consolidate what we have, or to discover what is still possible, what we could achieve, how far we could go. The result of these two opposing poles is that some of us, prefer the path to safety and security while wondering what we might have missed. Others take risks, go on adventures, seek to maximize what they possess, even at the expense of a quiet life. Managing the discovery of potential at minimum risk is the skill of self-development. Happiness and Goals Philosophers since Aristotle have linked happiness with the attainment of goals. That is why we find so much satisfaction when we reach our goals and happiness in the work that takes us there. For many people however, life is unhappy and unfulfilled. Daniel Yankelovic carried out extensive research into how people felt about their workplace achievements. 8 out of 10 people admitted that they could do much better. In a study by the California State University, Fullerton, 80% of people wish they were in a different job than the one they were in. In a University of Michigan study, more than one in four employees surveyed said they were so unhappy with the products they made at work that they wouldn't use them themselves. Developing your unique talents. It is the mix of talents and other factors which produces potential. Potential can be regarded as the sum of talent, personality, willpower, self-belief, drive and ambition, circumstances, opportunities and positive thinking. If a man has a talent and cannot use it he has failed. If he has a talent and uses only half of it, he has partly failed. If he has a talent and learns somehow to use the whole of it, he has gloriously succeeded and won a satisfaction and triumph few men ever know, Thomas Wolfe. The studies of self-development writers tell us that every single one of us possesses talents in some form or another. Our talents do not depend on background, upbringing, social class, jobs, ability or disability, hence the belief that they are divinely gifted. None of us possesses a greater or lesser talent than any other person. It is their use and application which distinguishes the so-called, talented, from the so-called, less talented. Discover own special genius. The word, genius, means inmate talent. It derives from the Roman mythological belief that everyone had two guardian spirits which attended them from birth to death. Gino, is Latin for, to be born. One of the spirits was a good genius and brought good fortune, the other was an, evil genius, and brought bad fortune. More popularly, the name, genius, is given to people who have displayed outstanding human achievements, endurance or accomplishments. We think of people like Alexander the Great, Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci, Shakespeare, Goethe, Newton, Napoleon, Mozart, Einstein, Churchill, and in our own times, Bill Gates. But these people were no different from us. Their physiques, brain sizes, human strength and qualities were essentially no different from any other. What was possible for them is also possible for us. The qualities of genius. So just what are the characteristics of those who we regard as geniuses? Tony Buzan and Raymond Keane in their book, Book of Genius, define history's geniuses as those displaying the following qualities. 1. Vision, the ability to see yourself succeeding in your goal. 2. Desire, the passion or wish to accomplish the goal. 3. Faith, the belief that you will succeed. 4. Commitment, the willingness to act on the vision. 5. Planning, the definition of how to realize the goal. 6. Persistence, the dogged determination to reach the goal. 7. Subject knowledge, a thirst to know about your subject. 8. Mental literacy, an understanding of the brain's power. 9. Positive attitude, a belief that things will work out. 10. Intuition, the ability to sense that something will work. 11. A master group, a team of other who support you. 12. An internal master group, a mental image of supporters. 13. 
truth, and awareness of what is true and real. 14. Courage, the ability to face fear and go on. Do it yourself. In our days of super states, super nations and super organizations with cradle to grave care and dependency cultures, it is easy to adopt the view that it is up to others to manage our own self-development. After all, maximizing employee potential results in self-motivated employees, employees who achieve, people who learn more and can apply more valuable benefits for the organization. But, as Chris Argyris of the Harvard Business School has pointed out, the natural inclination of organizations, particularly the large ones with the larger resources, is against the kind of people self-development produces. The conclusion is that self-development is a do-it-yourself skill and a do-it-yourself activity. States of existence. All of us in our adult lives find ourselves predominantly in one of three states, survival, maintenance, or development. Survival means just getting by, a state that is like a shipwrecked sailor afloat on a life raft in a hostile sea struggling to cling to any passing wreckage. Maintenance means reaching a safe balance between ourselves and our environments where with luck we'll come out all right. Development is the only state that we control and determine. If survival is like a swimmer in a hostile sea and maintenance is like plumber on a leaky boat, development is like an oarsman with a course, a plan and a destination. Creating your destiny. Philosophers and thinkers have for centuries puzzled over the extent to which our lives are in our hands and the extent in which they are preordained. Some believe we are who we are because of our inherited characteristics. Others believe we are the product of birth and upbringing. But all of us can set ourselves on the path we want by simply making our minds up to do it. Even in the most limiting society, we still have the free will to try. And that is the first step to creating our own destiny. The options of change. So, if you are stuck in one of the survival or maintenance modes of development, i.e. just keeping your head above water, or just getting by, what are the options to take you to the state of development? There are usually four questions. Do nothing, this may work but it also leaves you open to what others may do. It also may extend the unhappy situation that you don't like. Change the situations, it is not always within our power to change the situation e.g. a job you need to keep. Leave the situation, this may not be possible either. Change yourself through personal development, this is always possible. The greatest rewards. All of us have two distinct choices to make about what we will accomplish with our lives. The first choice is to be less than we can be. To earn less, have less, do less and think less. These are the choices that lead to an empty life, a life of constant apprehension, instead of a life of wondrous anticipation. Our second choice is to strive, produce and accomplish as much as we possibly can. Just as a mighty oak reaches up towards the sky, we have the worthy challenge to stretch to the full measure of our capabilities. Our ultimate life objective should be to create as much as our talent, ability and desire will allow us to create. The greatest rewards are reserved for those who bring the greatest value to themselves and those around them as a result of who they are and who they have become. Key points, your potential is the possibilities that you have inside of you to live and perform to your maximum capability. You have unique talents not possessed by anyone else. Maximizing the potentials is the way developing talents that distinguishes the so-called, talented, from other people. The things you can achieve in life as a blend of talents, drive, circumstances, skill, luck and positive self-belief. Self-development is a do-it-yourself skill and a do-it-yourself activity. For further support, at Talent and Skills Hub, you can be supported by our instructors, counselors and mentors on personal and professional development. You can book an appointment for one-to-one -one or group tutoring through our website, ts-hub.com. Reference and further reading, Garner, E. 2012, Maximizing Your Potential, Be All You Can Be. Ebook, Eric Garner and BookBoon.com.